Hi, I'm Jonathan from Ceramic Speed and I'm uh, here at uh, Fact Bikes together with uh, Jonathan, uh, Global Sales Manager for, for Factor. Um, as some of you may know, he uh, won the Taiwan K1 Challenge at the weekend for the fifth time, right Jonathan? Yeah, it's the fifth time. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, well done. And uh, yeah, we wanted to take the opportunity to have a look at his bike um, and a few of his uh, product choices for, for the race. So John, this is your Ostro. Could you tell us a little bit about this bike and uh, some of the features? So due to the distance was changed this year in the Game Challenge, normally you do 100 kilometers uphill, so it was 3,275 meters. Due to it finishing at 1, 000, uh, sorry, 2,100 meters, because the road was closed, I needed to go for a little bit more arrow because with the weight gains uh, it's only something that you really see after a 12 percent gradient. So due to that I went for the Austrian instead. And in the current setup it weighs uh, 6.5 kilo, but it's quite uh, light. Um, of course this frame already comes standard with Sermi Speed Bottom Racket, SLT headset and so on. To get the extra benefit this time we went for Ultra Chain. And of course, the always bit of US standards uh, on it. So we tried to squeeze out all the small uh, uh, marginal gains to get there. Um, and luckily enough, it was enough uh, to win the day. So yeah, it was a great performance. Yeah. So you put, you know, from your standard setup, you've got a slightly lighter set of wheels than you might normally ride, correct? Yeah, normally I ride the 45s. Uh, for this particular race, I went for the BR20 Turbo. Um, what is a 1,000 gram wheel assist? And of course, there's also have standard ceramic speed bearings in them. Uh, I actually tuned these bearings a little bit uh, to all the wheels out and so on, mm -hmm. and just have a lot of oil in them. So uh, I wouldn't recommend that for long term use, but uh, just for that particular day, it was a small touch. Yeah, so you were eking out all the, all the small margin gains that you yeah. could for this race. Yeah, and obviously, it uh, worked out for you. You were able to uh, win the race for, for the fifth time, as we mentioned. Yeah, we still see the, the UFO treatment on, on the chain here, so actually this, uh, this can also be topped up afterwards. So as this starts, this lasts for 600 kilometers, but as this starts to uh, wear away from the surface of the chain, you've still got a, 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 a great chain underneath there. Um, and then to keep that uh, well lubricated and to keep friction really low, obviously you take the UFO drip and apply that on top of uh, what you see there from the UFO treatment, and that will keep the performance high and the friction low. What I actually really like about that product is that your, your chains and the cassette and so on always stay clean. So I actually use that just for normal training, just yeah. because of that. Of course, it, it is a little bit of work, it's quite expensive, but uh, again, your chain and everything also stays longer and lasts longer. So many people that don't actually think about that, they, like if you ride right in a place like Denmark where there's a lot of dust and so on, if you have an oil based chain, it sticks to it and it means you have a longer, uh, quicker wear on your uh, cassette and chain rings. Because of the open group, you actually have a longer life lifetime. So just small info. So it might be more expensive, but actually it is a benefit. Perfect. Good. Well, congratulations on the win again. Thank you. Nice to see the bike. Uh, time for a wash, I think. Uh, it's still full of uh, full with the Torok God shirt us. Authentic. <laughs> Authentic, yeah. Good. Take care. Bye.